This is a walk around of a Grand Design Imagine 2250RK. It's 28 feet long and I'll be going over features and some extras as we go around. Uh, first note, it's uh, stored under a uh, pole barn so it's pretty protected from the weather. It has an electric tongue jack which I happen to have a, a spare unboxed extra tongue jack that goes with this. It's got two 20 gallon uh, propane tanks. It has a very good shape uh, 19 foot awning. A huge see-through storage area that goes all the way across the front. Uh, I've got a really good uh, uh, anti-sway bar tongue jack that goes with it. Four crank down stabilizers. There's two doors to the camper. Uh, the front one goes directly into the bedroom. The back one goes into the kitchen. There's a t uh, additional attachments for, for water and plugs. It's got two axles that uh, ride very well. It pulls very well with my, uh, my F-150. It's got very nice, large uh, windows all around. There's also a, uh, a platform that I built for making it a little easier to get in to one side. And if, if uh, you want, that's uh, available too. Here's the back. A ladder goes up to the roof. And at the top, I have a, a Furion uh, camera that, uh, that it's really nice for when you're driving down the road, you can see what's behind you and for backing up. It has one slide out. Of course, it has the water heater and the furnace. And it's got two drains, uh, one for the gray water from the kitchen area. And one is a combination for the gray water for the shower and bathroom area and the, and the black water tank. And there's also a, um, a clean out for the, uh, for the black water tank, which you see I've got a hose hooked up to it. And all the hoses and um, support uh, blocks will go with this. And I've got, actually, I've got a, a, a little... Uh, uh, block there that you can drive up on if you have to like change a tire or something Okay, and In the back is your controls center. You've got a water hookup. You've got extra power you've got uh, Hookups for switching from uh, storage tank. You've got a big uh, uh, internal storage water if you're gonna if you're gonna be uh, uh, Camping out where you don't have water hookup and uh, it also has a uh, Furion uh, solar charge uh, connection there. And there's the battery. Okay, so let's go on the inside. Also have attached uh, some levels on both sides to make it easier to, uh, to level the camper when you're, when you're camping. Okay, going into the kitchen. We've got a nice uh, back kitchen with a nice window looks out the back. It's got lots of storage up above and quite a bit of storage down below. Uh, stainless steel uh, refrigerator um, sink. Sorry. And a four burner gas stove, a microwave, and pretty good sized refrigerator with more storage on the side. Here's a look at the inside of the refrigerator. It's in really good shape. Got a uh, heater, um, fire heater fireplace combination that you just about don't need the furnace except for on really cold nights because it pretty much heats up the camper. Got a nice uh, 
radio uh, DVD um, set up there and a 40 inch TV that recedes back into the uh, behind the fireplace. I've got a detachable swivel table that uh, is kind of handy. Two uh, chairs with a, a middle in between. The chairs will fold down. More storage up top. And the bathroom. Again, nice windows. Uh, your normal sink and more storage. And a very nice size 30 by 36 shower which makes it kind of easy to take showers in more storage and here's the bedroom it's got a full queen size bed and uh, the back part lifts up for a big storage area underneath you've got cabinet uh, storage for for clothes and stuff on both sides and drawers down there and there's the back door, or the front door, sorry. So this pretty much covers it. Uh, thank you very much.